Hey guys, it's Alan. Normally I'd say front page fab, but tonight we're doing some racetrack cooking. Now, as you can kind of see, I'm not at the racetrack. I'm actually in the garage at the house. But I'm trying to give you all some ideas for when you are at the racetrack. And it's only coming up in, what, a month and a half, a month, something like that, depending on where you're at. Um, so tonight, we're going to make some... Uh, breakfast sandwiches on the Blackstone. We're going to do kind of like a, a smash burger sausage patty. We're going to do some egg and we're going to do some uh, bacon and cheese. experiment tonight. We're going to try two things. I just recently saw a, recipe, a, a cook from Hungry Hussy where he used some nice buttery croissants. I thought, huh, I've not done that before. I've always just used English muffins on my breakfast sandwiches. Let's try it. So we're going to do a comparison tonight and I'll let you guys know how it goes once we get it done here. We're going to do some buttery croissants and we're going to do some with an English muffin. So let's get to the to the groceries here because we got some good All right, guys here's our groceries now i do want to go over my rig with you so i'm using a 22 inch adventure series and for in this when i have it in the winter time here in the garage i made this little cart so i can wheel it around over there and store it between the vehicles but it's just 22 inch adventure series uh, flat top from blackstone it's got the folding table down there as you can see those legs retract up and then the top half just folds up in the flat top itself lifts off and there is a uh, a bag that all that fits in and i do have the adapter hose to go down to a 20 pound tank if you try using the one pounders you're going to get frustrated because you go through a lot of them okay on and moving on now this table right here i just bought it from uh, through Amazon to try. This is as tall as it goes, but I'm thinking I'm going to get another one. Now the cool thing is, and it's over there on top of the truck, but there is a, a thing that goes down underneath here, and it's storage. Um, and I'm thinking that'll be great for when you're at the racetrack or you're at the campground or whatever. Have these instead of folding card tables. Because uh, I like to have, see, I've got all my groceries here, uh, my oils, things like that I've got sitting here, and I'd like to have another one to put over on this side. So tonight's the first time I've used this. I'll let you know what I think uh, in another video, and I'll try and post a link to it. So down to the groceries. All right, we've got eggs. We've got <laughs> bacon. We've got sausage, hash browns, and there is our buttery croissants. And our egg, McMuff or our egg McMuffin. Oh my goodness, our muffins. So we're going to get going here. I got the flat top getting hot. It should be good and hot by now. Um, I did just turn the heat down. We'll see where this leads us. I'm going to get the bacon on and start cooking that so I can get that grease off of it. And then we'll throw the hash browns down with that grease and a little bit of butter. So let's get cooking. All right. First thing to go down is the bacon that I cut up. The other thing I forgot is you might want to buy stock in a paper towel company because you're going to need it. And I do like to keep a trash can close by. Um, just because uh, you know it's convenient to throw in the, the paper towel off and all that good stuff. So. Go ahead and get this bacon rolling. Let me get it separated. All 
I usually like to do this ahead of time, but I didn't take the time to do it tonight. I wish I had a. Well, it is what it is. At this point, times as you're going through, it will kind of start self-separating as the greases. See how that's separating real nice? Oh man, look at that goodness right there. You know, I think it ought to be like a state law, you know, bacon with every meal, man. I mean, bacon, bacon will make everything better, right? I, th I think so. With some bacon, some sausage, put you some smoked beef on there. Man, uh, that's, that's just, oh man, my mouth's just a water and thinking about all this goodness here. All right. All right, so I got to go get, oops, there's one, there we go. So one little pro tip I just kind of learned, I don't call it a pro tip or a tip, whatever you want to call it. So as I, I you saw me cut, cut all that bacon up, and I didn't separate it in there. Well, when I threw it on here, I started to separate it, but what I found was once you get it, the bacon starts to cook and the fats start to separate, it kind of gets slick. And they were just super easy to just separate with uh, my spatula. So I just keep that in mind when you guys are doing your cooks. Uh, oh man, those are looking, those are done. Perfection for what I want to do with them later. Because here's a cool thing you can do this, you can even do your bacon at home if you wanted to. Um, normally, I prefer not to. Just because I like my bacon nice and fresh and there's just something to, when you take it out of the refrigerator normally it, it, it I don't know it just loses something in my opinion uh, after you cooked it but hey we're making do here so I can expedite my process come uh, this weekend um, now I recently saw a post on uh, one of the uh, griddle forms, Blackstone forms, about, there's uh, uh, a new guy, he's looking at at um, what size griddle he should get for camping. You know, as I've already said, uh, this 22 inch, this is the one that I decided to buy uh, for our camping adventures. Uh, usually I'm cooking for our anywhere from 2 to 10, I don't know. I have actually cooked for about 14 people on this Blackstone. Um, so it, it's adaptable. The, the more people you have to cook for, the longer it can take. But um, it just all depends on what you're cooking as well. So um, for breakfast, I mean, you can do a pretty big cook on this, as you can kind of see just from the bacon I'm doing. Uh, So I gotta make sure I get some right for my wife or I'll hear about it. Gotta keep the missus happy, you know what? That is a given fact, I guarantee. Oh yeah, man, we got some nice grease here for for the hash browns. All right, I'm gonna let those cook just a couple minutes longer. That one's ready. Let these cook just a wee bit longer while I'm getting things ready for the uh, hash browns. Grease is good. All right, so potatoes do take the longest. Now that's that's all goodness right there. We don't want to lose any of our goodness. All right, got that going. Let's throw some butter down. 
and let's get these hash browns rolling. Now, the trick to some crispy hash browns is once you get them on, leave them alone. That's the biggest trick to hash browns. You get them on, you leave them be. All right, we've got some butter rolling, we've got some grease. Oh yeah, look at all that goodness. I think my bacon's done, I wanna get it off. I want it done, not, not like burnt. Okay, we got the bacon out of the way. Let's drop some hash browns down. Should have brought my other spatula out. I started to get it, and then I was like, nah, I don't need it, I'll be all right. But now I'm kind of wishing I had it. All right, we're gonna get uh, some I think we're gonna do a few more hash browns here. So let me get my uh, fresh bag of Oratas. Cause they're all righty, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's grab a few more. Well, doggone it, I didn't mean to tear that bag. These cheap bags they're making these days. Goodness. Yeah, these are gonna be some good hash browns. Got that, got some bacon grease in there. We got some butter in there. Oh yeah. Look at all that goodness. Mercy, mercy, mercy. That's some goodness. All right. All right, now, I'm going to kind of start to spread this out, and I'm just going to kind of pat it down. All right, there we go. Spread it up, because this is kind of, for some reason, this is a cooler section of the grill here. All right. Thin, so they cook quicker, and crispier all right that is done um, turns out I'm gonna put a little more butter on my I may just do that just a wee bit more butter mixed in there I think is a good thing put some of that there Right there, well, well, that was, yeah. I'm gonna put one there. The love spread here. All right, I think that's gonna do it for the butter tonight. I think, you never know. See how it goes here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna make uh, some smash patties out of my uh, a sausage. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put, uh, let's put a little, little oil down just so they don't stick. Well, we do want them to stick. What am I saying? I do want them to stick. Never mind. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I am going to turn the heat up just a smidge on these. All right, so here's how I'm going to do this. 
I do have a burger press, but uh, for these, I'm just going to do it like so. So. Those two. Now we'll get these two lined up. Well, that one didn't quite. No. I'm doing a video. Okay, guys. As you can see, my sausage is about done. Putting a little, a uh, little bit of blackstone all-purpose seasoning on the uh, taters and. Uh, here in just a second, we will pull off the uh, sausage because it's just just about done here. It's a nice thing about cooking in thin patties; they cook fast. Nice. We got a little bit of bark on there. I did turn the heat up on the uh, taters a little bit. We want them to cook through. All right, I think my sausage is done. Now we'll go ahead and get the uh, side of the griddle cleaned up. All right, things are cooking down nicely. Let's go ahead and get our buns going. Starting to get some nice crispies around there. Let me check it. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Looking good. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna divide this into three. Oh yeah, look at those. Look at those. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So here's how we're going to try this. Look at that golden goodness right there. That's some good eating. All right. Let's check these. See if we got getting that toast coming on I'll tell you what guys you you get this kind of a cook rolling at the uh, track on Saturday morning and you're gonna have a line line of guys with their plates out and ready in line ready to get eaten Yes, you will. I'll put just a little bit more uh, this blackstone all purpose on here. A little dusting. That'll take care of that. And then we'll set our. Uh, Put our muffins and 
a bread on on paper towel as soon as it's all nice and toasted up. Oh yeah, they're getting a little nice. They're looking nice. Yes, looking nice. Except for that one. All right. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, getting some nice spark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these off. Get our buttery croissants on here. We'll get them toasted. Oh, them's big. I can't even get six on there. Look at that. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll make them fit. Oh, look at them going there. Oh, mercy. That is just getting to be some... I'm getting mighty hungry just looking at this. Move those up, get them. This whole back here area right here just isn't very coolest area of the grill. All right, that one's good. Finish these up. Nice. Um, That looked a little thin. Okay. All right, now, we'll turn the heat off on the one side, let that cool down a minute, and then we'll start. Get ready to do our eggs here. But I think uh, one, one thing when you're doing eggs is you want that clean so they don't stick. So this is where we come in with our tongs and our water. Some paper towel. And that just really helps to get all of the Excess off. All right, let's get our hash browns off. You want them crispy, not burnt. Man, does that not look good or what? Take those in. Whoops. Okay, now we're going to do our eggs and uh, we got this side off, cooling down. I use this, put it down on low. Now we're gonna take a little bit of butter and test it. Now if the butter turns brown, the griddle's still too hot. So let's find out. Oh yeah, it stays nice and yellow. Cool. All right, so here's the way I do mine. I take these rings, spray them with a little bit of Pam set them on warm them up okay now we're ready to throw some eggs down here now i do have more Let 
it just exploded out the end. Eggs are cooking. Now, for since we're using breakfast sandwiches, I like to go ahead and all right. Let's see if these are set. That one left it off. Got this one. You set? Now these egg rings make the perfect size for um, uh, egg McMuffins. Egg McMuffins. I did it again, guys. I got egg McMuffin on the brain. All right, so we're done with those. guys it's time to build let's start out with the muffins so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my muffin there a muffin there and the muffin there I do it like that all right now you got to have some some cheese I mean you know that's state law You use whatever you want. I bought some uh, at the deli. Some good old uh, American. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is yellow American cheese. Dietz and Watson. So. Guess I better get to moving. Less talking, more working there. Uh, all right, so there's those. Now we're going to put a patty on. Another patty and another patty. All right. Now we're going to grab us an egg. Throw an egg on there. Throw us another egg on there. And the last egg. For good measure. All right. Turn that heater off. Now, this is where we have our bacon. A couple pieces of bacon. What's that extra crispy one for my wife? And now, got to have a little more cheese on there. Now the croissants, we're going to do like so. And we'll throw another one right there. And we'll do this one right here. Let them warm up a minute. While they're warming up, I'm gonna get some cheese. Cause you know, gotta have cheese on your croissant. If you notice I, how I did the cheese over there, I'm doing it different here because of just the sheer size of these bad boys. All right. Look at that little dinky patty in there. That just don't even look right. We need a big patty. Now 
Now we'll throw us an egg on there. So I told you I should have got the mini croissants. Okay. Now we need some more baconage. And since these are bigger, that's why I did uh, extra bacon. You know, you can't have too much bacon. Oh man, I almost lost some. We can't have that. All right. Da -da -da. And we got one more piece. I'll give us, my dad's been over here waiting, so he's going to chow that down. Check that one out. All right, we got our sausage, we got our bacon, we got our egg. That will be helpful. Oh man, look at that. Does that not look good or what? All right. Now, you hold up. Look at those. All right. Now it's time to eat. Look at that goodness right there. Oh, yeah. Lots of goodness. Oh, look at that. Isn't that good? Man, that looks good. Okay, guys. I've got my official tasters with me. And we got to vote. Muffin or a buttery croissant. All right. So I'm going to turn the camera around. And we'll go from there. It was good. All right. I got Mrs. Front Page Fab right here. All right. Mrs. Front Page Fab. Buttery croissant or English muffin? Buttery croissant. All right, we got one vote for buttery croissant. This is Mr. Front Page Fab Senior. Buttery yeah, croissant <laughs> or English muffin? Yep. Yeah. English, which one? Yep. The English muffin? Mm -hmm. All right. He said he don't even want to talk. He's got, he's chowing. Look at that. <laughs> he's got them both, man. Those look good. Oh, mercy, those look good. And those hash browns, oh, man, they were on point. All right, so there you have it. We got, I didn't say what my vote was. Oh, man, I'm the, I'm the tiebreaker. The, oh, the pressure. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if I can stand the pressure. I got to say, for me, it's a tough, tough decision. But I got to go with the muffin. Don't get me wrong, I would make those croissants again. Absolutely. With bigger sausage patties, for one thing. But, I guess I've just always loved uh, um, good old McDonald's uh, sausage egg McMuffin. And boy, adding the bacon onto it is awesome. Now, Mrs. Front Page Fab did have a good suggestion on those croissants, and that was to put some ham on there. Now you do realize ham, bacon, and sausage. That's like the Holy Trinity right there. You put that on that croissant, oh my goodness. That would be, that might change my mind about that muffin. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.